Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Time to wear my Calgary Roughnecks jersey because I got some National Lacrosse League news, NLL news when it comes to the 2022 season. And I would say, given, you know, even though we're still stuck in this global pandemic with COVID 19, I may actually have some optimism that we'll have lacrosse and full lacrosse, uh, full season with fans for 2022. That's what I'll talk about in this video. I'll have the link in the description for the story, but the NLL recently announced plans to start the, they say the 2021-22 season, but I'm going to say, I just call it the 2022 season, that they are planned to begin on the weekend of December 3rd and 4th in 2021, as all Board of Governors approve. It'll be an 18-game season and also keep in mind for 2022 there's going to be one new team coming in and another team that is going to be relocated not too far but all it says is that the paraphrase i mean i'll have the description link in the description for the story that the league you know it's the most successful professional lacrosse league and their headquarters is in philadelphia that the Say all the Board of Governors approve return for the 2021-22 season to start on the weekend of December 3rd and 4th. And it would be an 18-game season as well, playoffs and a championship series. So we're looking to have a full, full season. As you recall, going all the way back, the 2020 season, we did not conclude the season with the pause just last year at this time with all sports and couldn't get uh, a playoffs and then the 2021 season ultimately did not happen. So we haven't had lacrosse. I have not been in the rough house wearing this, for example, in over a calendar year. But I actually am feeling somewhat optimistic that, assuming you know, I can still make the finances work, that uh, I will re up my season tickets. So I'll put that out there. If anyone's watching here, you know, I decided to uh, opt for the refund option for the rest of the 2020 season because I didn't think there was going to be a 2021 season, or at least 2021 season with fans in attendance. But you would hope by then, given plans, especially, you know, even in the U.S., they're much more quicker at it than up here in Canada, in terms of getting people vaccinated. But you would think by then, hopefully there'll be easing up restrictions that they'll have fans in attendance. So I am actually optimistic that we will have a season next season with fans in attendance. And may I also add in that the Calgary Roughnecks, like, is still by default. We're still the fighting champs, but not under these circumstances. But the other news that they also talk about is the fact that there is going to be a new team joining the NLL for this upcoming season for 2022. It will be in Fort Worth, Texas, and they're actually going to be called the Panther City Lacrosse Club playing at the Dixie Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. In the, so it's a new team that will be joining the NLL to balance things out because there's a lot more teams out on the eastern side of the continent. So I'm going to be safe to say that there's going to be playing it out in west. So we'll see Fort Worth, the Panther City lacrosse team, join the league. And then the other team that I mentioned that is relocating, well, the New York England Black Wolves, they... Uh, got sold to a group in Albany, New York. So right now they're called the uh, Albany NL, NLL team. So the New England Black Wolves will be moving over into Albany. We'll definitely have a nice uh, rivalry with the New York Riptide. So we'll see how that goes. The naming of the team still is to be determined. But yeah, so we have a couple of teams joining, or a couple newish teams, one being an expansion team, which means we'll have an expansion draft, which so this isn't the new story details on the 2021 NLL draft, but usually that occurs in September, playing training camps, player combine, and the relaunch of the NLL Hall of Fame and other league information will still be coming in the coming months. So what I plan to do, you know, just to, you know, being the coward sports fan that I am, that well will be some NLL news trickling in. I mean, with this announcement that they are planning on having the season begin in December, and that is the normal timeline that the National Lacrosse League starts in 
December. Usually there might be a, a preseason game that happens in November and some years Calgary may or may not have a home game for just the preseason. You know, they always call it the preview party. But December is when the season gets going and I definitely would be looking forward to coming back to the Rough House by the sounds of it and I am actually optimistic. We gotta try to be optimistic during these times. I know there's actually plans here in Calgary that apparently there's some soft word about uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll have fans in attendance for both Alberta teams when it comes to the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers in time for the playoff races. But uh, getting back to lacrosse, I mean, what I plan to do is, uh, I guess, it won't be till the summer based on history because we had, you know, the San Diego Seals join in, the Philadelphia Wings rejoin, and then the New York Riptide joining in as well as the Halifax Thunderbirds that uh, which was the Rochester Nighthawks new version of the team that there will be an expansion draft so I'll recap the expansion draft and the what the Calgary Roughnecks did at the entry draft and I guess with games coming back I'll do my Calgary Roughnecks this month I guess I'll still try to sell some just to have an episode for season three I'm still figuring that out because I just want everything to be in line when uh, everything being in season three and going to season four. So I had to say, what do you think of uh, recent news with the NLO? That they're planning on returning on time for the 2022 season starting December. Is it December yet? I mean, here we are still in March, but it's sober to think it's been a year that we've been in this, you know, pandemic and doing what we've had to do and not too sure if we can say, I mean, the short term optimistic because, uh, I mean, you've gone through two ways, and hopefully a third one's not coming, you know, with, uh, you know, there's more vaccinations, but then you always hear in cases. But I would think with more people planning to be vaccinated, both in the U.S. as well, finally up here in Canada, by then, that there would have to be live events happening again, and actually people in attendance, and both, you know, when it comes to hockey and across, and hopefully maybe in football with the Stampeders this summer. So that's all I have for this story. So as I say, if you want to follow along this Calgary sports fan's journey, home to Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks, and Stampeders, you, you know what you need to do, just uh, make sure you like, subscribe. As I say, I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, like recapping games and stories, and my planned content that I plan to do in the future for this upcoming season when it comes to the Calgary Roughnecks. I guess there'll be an expansion draft that we'll have to uh, prepare for. Who we're going to lose for the eventual Panther City team and the entry draft, which usually that happens in September. So I don't think those videos are going to come anytime soon. But uh, if anything trickles in when it comes to the NLL, I will uh, make a video on it. But I also do a variety of non sports content, like first vlogs, Deb to Comedy, and I also do share my experience the same on the road at a sport event. And hopefully, the sport event part, they'll. Uh, be some content that I can capture on the go, which I've done in the past for Roughneck Games, and I know most recently on the road, I guess you can call. Be on the road when, let's say, recently I took in the Chinook Blast in Calgary during the Winter Festival and documenting the, the demolition of the Stampy Corral right near where the Savile is. So if that all sounds like you interest to watch, to follow along with this Calgary sports fans journey, you know, you just make sure you like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below for other ways you can follow me. And there's also apparently other rumors that this jersey that I'm wearing right now, which is the Calgary Roughnecks home jersey, apparently there was rumors that, I mean, this is what I found on fan sites on Facebook, so don't take me, don't quote me on it, or take it for what it is, unless you officially see it from the Carry Roughnecks itself that apparently there's rumors that they're going to have new jerseys. So I don't know if uh, if this, what I'm going to be wearing, is now going to be, I guess you could say, a vintage jersey. Since jerseys change every couple of years. So we'll see about that. I know there was one time that these jerseys were on sale, like thinking that maybe a change is coming. But who knows? If that happens, I could make a video on that as well, just to have some, you know, own Carry Roughnecks and lacrosse content that I'll put on here. I mean, there is a few fans out there. And we usually get about ten to 12,000 fans at the Saldo when it comes to uh, the cross games. So let's say go next, go, and I'll see you in the next video.